Hello everyone, Sun Sun Duck 2, welcome to another mod pack overview, this time on all of Fabric 3. We're looking at it obviously in 20W07A. And the mod pack adds 1 2 oh sorry, 115 2 and 116 snapshot mods. So we'll just go through the following list, and then I'll show off the items and other things in REI. So you've got Adorn for furniture, enlargement of the advancement screen. Um, saturation and other additional things, additions to water, or switching of tools, bombs that are useful for orbs, for fortune and other purposes, making bees explode, getting resources from bees, getting information from bees, improving the nether, more storage and buckets in one slot, decoration blocks, finding structures, uh, more shulker boxes, and a bunch of other additional things for commands, redstone, discord, changing in creepers, or, or vein mining, formants, spawn X and creative tabs, food, storage, doors, a bunch of other additional things. So quite a fair amount, obviously, that work across 115.2 and also are available for the snapshots, as you can see there. So, you can hear some ambient sounds already, which I may turn down a bit just in case, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if I can very much, but either way. There we go. Just in case. Um, so we'll just go through a few here, let's see. Okay, so you've got quasi-modded, adding in vanilla, but certain other additional aspects with its glass shards, and I'm assuming yep, everything else seems to be here. The 115 stuff, the additional 116. Aquarius for trident recipes, flippers, an upgrade to the conduit, um, additional stuff for the eggs and creative tabs, um, sort of packaging stuff up and then moving it, materialization for tools, we've got better nether to expand the nether even more than the 116 update already does. There's quite a lot of additional blocks, tools and other such things there, different pressure plates, different flame colours, different steel, We've got more totems, additional food as well as sort of tweaks to it in a way, We've got furniture, we have got traps, and then more furniture, certain other specific things, decoration got the Adorn Terrestria sort of support as well, got iron barrels for different upgrades and storage and more slots and such, got blasts for different uses of bombs, some that allow for fortune on ores, others allow for being used underwater, you've got resources for bees, you've got some of the other additional blocks of quasi modded. We've got Terrestria and its woods, as well as its biomes. We've got extra doors for so doors with glass, support for the new snapshot doors, and so on. Illuminations for fireflies and other such things ambiently, or as items. Retro exchange for additional recipes of sorts. But obviously you have to get mobs to get the transmutation shards. Hollow logs for decoration and I guess using for getting into hollow logs for certain um, reasons of transportation possibly. Or just secret entrances of sorts. Um, the angriest for catching bees as well as obviously having them explode. Torturino for speeding up um, crops, I'm not too sure on machine-like blocks, but I think they do work. Blue blooms for mushroom-type flower, uh, flower mushrooms. 
Glass Central that's used for different glasses from mob farms to other such things. Little Tater for different potatoes that you can eat or just possibly place in the world. Um, slab versions of crafting stations. Flax so you can get access to um, food as well as stream from memory. Blockers for additional block types. As you can see here, quite a lot of different blocks. Kayak for boats with chests, hoppers, or jute boxes, and in all different types. Facility for additional storage and transportation and fluid storage, besides just items and blocks. Um, redstone bits for certain additional redstone contraptions and other additional things. Um, teleportation with um, bird bars, and you can use sort of access to the GUI to teleport to different ones. Variable packs to have multiple tools in one. Oki shulkies for more um, shulker boxes in different slots and sizes and textures and such. And I guess form factor with. Um, slabs, different hammers, and different tiers, different resources and such. Um, a teleporter, void world. Uh, no red books I still have yet to get into, but uh, it adds additional benefits for height and width of certain ranged things, I'm pretty sure. Um, flaunters for more flowers. Chest for sort of multiple stacks inside a chest, sort of blocks, adding a ton of different patterns, inlays, sort of types of blocks, as you can see there, with columns, to sort of diagonal focused or ramp related and such, makes up a fair amount here, expanded storage for additional chest sizes, as well as the old types of chests, it's also netherite supported, glass doors, adding glass doors, you've got traverse for its biomes as well as additional um, stuff, content, um, woods and saplings and such, uh, you've got wild world for its sort of addition to cave systems with leaf piles, um, sort of out in the the world, and then you've got stalactites or um, spolithium or something, and glue shrooms, extra discs for adding in more music, of sorts. Mostly obviously to do with the Minecraft volume stuff, but obviously in disc form now in the game. More berries, adding additional cakes, berries, drinks, berry bushes and such. Trumpet skeleton, adding a skeleton that makes noises with a trumpet. Um, soul shards, obviously using the mob spawner with certain mobs. Vertical redstone for sending redstone vertically or uh, when you normally can't. Sweet Tooth for adding in additional food and sugar related things. Wrench anything so you can wrench pistons and other such blocks in different ways. Fabric Furnaces for obviously having faster or just different fuel output and different tiers of furnaces. And I've got the other stuff for materialization here, as well as big buckets for having um, larger bucket sizes that are uh, all in one slot instead of multiple in the same, uh, across multiple slots. So more fluid storage basically. Otherwise though, that's pretty much it. Uh, for the most part, all of Fabric 3 will most likely update every so often according to what mods have been added. For the snapshots, um, it will probably move in and out certain mods depending on their compatibility with others. Um, but for the most part, yeah, if you want a snapshot or 115.2 sort of carried over, 116 mod pack that focuses on those that have been updated every so often. You have that. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.